Alright guys, here. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, look. I'm on the early side of 50, but yes, I finally need some glasses. Well, I have for the last few years. Only when I'm doing up close stuff, like... Oh, I gotta check out that. I gotta check. I gotta get really close. Um, from a distance, so I can, like... Oh, it's too, way too glary because of the exposure. These lights, these UFOs I got off eBay, they're gonna have to go because the strobe effect on them is driving the videos crazy. So I'm gonna get more, more like those ones that don't have the strobe effect. It's, there, it's to do with Hertz and all that stuff. Yeah, it, it hurts for me to talk about technology. So we, we're just gonna talk about Minty. Let's talk about Minty. We have not, uh, see, I was going back through the videos the other day and I'm like, Grego, what about all my people? My people that aren't on Facebook because on Facebook I do like daily updates almost of every car we're working on at the time, almost daily, at least weekly. Um, and I take it for granted and I was looking at some of the cars that are finished now and on the road and I'm like, I've only got videos of them not even painted yet. So I'm going to lift my game and make sure I get some videos of assembled and finished cars and down the track as suggested by my, uh, my, my peeps, Gary and Charmaine, they suggested, how about you do some talking interviews and footage of the owners reunited with their babies. So I'm like, hey, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I'll have to, but it's, yeah, easier said than done when you're working flat out. But um, flat out is no excuse for letting my YouTube fans down. So where are we up to with Minty that used to be Violet? Oh my word. I want you all to go back. It's actually a pretty high rated video. Um, uh violet number one episode one introduction to violet v a rusty vw combi restoration whatever i've called it all the things that i've called the uh you know that could probably be lined up a bit better too because i have a habit of just calling them by name violet part two or whatever and then people uh, who you know it just doesn't come up on the algorithms of rust repairs on combis you know we'd always like more views some of them 80 some of them 40 some of them 2000 like it just depends on the video and i've worked out that if you have the sensationalist headline oh my god look at the rust on this combi then you get the views but i'm not not about the views i'm about just sharing stuff, um, yeah, uh, you know, there's always the talk of monetization, monetization, you know, I will have to change my videos then, certainly wouldn't be able to have music playing in the background, has anybody seen, has anybody seen what this is, ooh, you want to talk about videos, baby, we're up in the ante, yes, Thanks to Andrew and the girls. Did the girls chip in? No, it was just, no, just, it was just, just Andrew because he has to listen to me talk about, oh, well, I love a drone. How good would it be to have a drone? So we have a drone. So now I'm gonna learn to fly it around the shed like this while Andrew's working and all that sort of thing. Um, it's so light. What does that weigh? Like 50 grams? Anyway, it's so light that as soon as you fly it out in the wind, she just starts going roo, 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 and crashes into things. So um, luckily, oh, I shouldn't face you out towards the light. Um, luckily, drones now, um, although, you know, you can crash them a bit and they, they're okay. So it's not a DJI Mavic Pro number three worth $3,000, that's for sure. But it's bloody good for a first drone. It's not a $75 one either, so we're, yeah, so. Oh yeah, let's, let's look. 
Serious. Are you serious? Zero X. Where'd you get it from, Andrew? JB. JB. Yes, of course, JB. So, um, because we're so popular, I'm surprised JB didn't give us one for nothing. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so full HD, optical flow, and Wi Fi. <laughs> so, I don't know what FBV means, but. All I know is that I've put my phone into the controller. So yeah, yeah you undo that and yeah, anyway, it folds out. You put your phone in and that's your camera view. You can move your camera view. You can do um, fly it sideways, upwards, all that sort of thing. But it only has like 100 meters, can only fly 100 meters away and doesn't have follow me function and all the, the, what the ones that the, the thousands of dollars ones have. Grego's too broke for that, so I'm just grateful, grateful that I have a have a son that's sick of listening to me complain about not having a drone. It's hard when funds are tight. <laughs> toy like a toy, baby. So, okay, what what was that noise? What's this noise? Okay, you go boom, ba boom. What's that noise? That's the check strap for the door doesn't have the proper thing in it's just got a little screw in there and it, and it moves right you watch it oh there it goes oh god and it's so damn noisy you need the correct the correct pins that go in there oh, i never know whether you know whether you're getting bad light or whatever so i've got to remember to try and not face you outside because of the exposure because of these lights the shutter speed you know it's all so important have a look at minty Oh, m &S Johnson coming through with some lovely trim. Beautiful, timeless, got a nice grain to the vinyl. Looks cool. Wanted some subtle small speakers in the front, not, not some big buggers. We got some bigger buggers in the back there. They're kicker, kicking ass. So we just, I've just put the kick panels in. I've just, uh, oh, buttoned up all this dash basically. So all the top. Plastic bits, uh, oh, this one's got a button. So we've got a brand new glove box liner in there. So we've got the full full thing here. The, um, yeah, you know, that infotainment thing uh, with reverse camera, still got the thing on over the screen to protect it. Uh, because of the size of this, we couldn't have it with, uh, a uh, ashtray so you know like who needs an ashtray anyway so we've got dual usb charger because that doesn't take up too much room got the shelves now to put your phone and charge while you're going blah 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 oh pardon me i've put the uh these in now these were the original ones that were a little bit tatty i guess you'd call them so just some UHT, VHT, the brand, um, vinyl paint, certainly does the job because a new set of these is, you know, 150 bucks, something like that, 170 bucks, I don't know, depends where you get them from. So to tart up the old ones with a bit of vinyl paint, I also did the mirror because I thought that would look cool, just in the white. Um, so, so on this we've got the black carpet, uh glued down under the seat except for these rubber factory style covers that go down the side etc so we've combined a bit of you know it's just got that nice soft look and then we trim down these panels um how cool does that look with the little nice uh funnily enough they're going they're probably going to be covered over by cupboards so um i guess looking back maybe we didn't have to do them but it does look cool in the meantime until the cupboards come so we've just got the full trim panel that goes across there yeah so we've laid the timber floor on top of the ply base fitted the rock and roll bed um i gotta make that video too people are waiting for it so um uh, twin USB charger points, great location. I've found that when we're camping in uh, Greta's car, Buttercup, you're sitting out there when you're camping, you want to charge your phone and whatever while using it. You know, you can just sit in your camp chair under your awning. 
um, and you have your twin charges there. This is a voltmeter for the second battery, which we found is um, kaput. So uh, we will find another deep cycle battery, as they call it. So got the door off to fit the rubber. Um, just in the process of doing that now, when I thought I really should make a video. So yeah, you got to get the rubber sitting right so that this flap is in the correct location. We've seen these things upside down, inside out, whatever. We've seen all sorts of things over the years. So it's not until the door is refitted. Well, what I like doing is fitting the trim on the door uh, with it on a stand, way easier to line up all the clips. That's another thing, all the holes, each hole for the uh, on the panel itself, the metal has to be drilled out to eight mil. So you use a step drill, so you just until it stops and then you know you're at that eight mil. Rubber bung goes in and then fresh clips. Um, just got a bar holding that seat up, but that's generally gonna be a storage area there. Um, yeah, so since the last pick, last thing, it's all been, so Michael and Sharon have done a great job on the upholstery. So we've got all new fabric liner up there. I've still got to fit, oh. Um, I've still got to fit the black carpet's a nice little touch with the tan because otherwise it can get too much tan We only wanted a bit of green inside which is on the dash that works great um, So I've got a new light There to go in up there uh, We've got an aftermarket LED light that's going on the side there um, We put that nice timber strip up there and to hold the it, Well, it holds the canvas up, but it doubles up as um, looks really nice too. So I've got to put two handles up here yet, like some uh, kitchen style, you know, pull down handles for the pop top. Um, and I've got to put a seal around for under that and we'll probably paint the bottom of that lid there, I'd say. Um, so we've got a nice in, uh, black carpet piece to go on there, which also has an underlay, so it's really thick. That should help with the, keep the noise down. We've got the soundproofing in all the doors and especially over the engine and yeah behind there is where you need the noise the most so here we've got our you know all new lights and stuff like that that's pretty much a given all new seals we've got these ones are from um we got a kit actually quite a while ago we've got multiple i bought three vans worth Yes, that's right. I called it a van. Um, uh, yeah, Wolfsburg West. And that, yeah, it was a nice bit of kit. The rubbers are nice and the, especially the trims for the front doors were definitely worth it. So we've got a cool reverse camera here set up for, you know, when you're not sure if that's going off a switch or what yet. But yeah, I don't know whether it's going to be hooked up to reverse. Anyway, we'll work it out. Uh, Pardon the sniffles. So we've got the uh, prototype square hitch receiver like set into the bumper there. Um, and this is gonna carry two bikes, possibly electric bikes on a special mount that's designed for that square hitch to go. Put the pin through. That'll hold the bikes. Got a nice trim panel there with the clips. Um, Brand new seals, they make the doors stick out a little bit, but um, yeah, just give it time. Um, we're also making a bar on the back here and we're modifying the front roof rack. The roof rack was fairly worn out, uh, like rusted, and the spindly little legs would not carry the weight of the awning that's gonna go across here. So we'll have a rack with the spare wheel up in the middle, that's all it's going to be carrying more or less. And then along this side here is a state-of-the-art big boy from Superpeg. So that's 2.4 meters long, but but um, it has a section that folds out 
So the awning itself covers complete coverage from the front of the car here, like right out here. Like, can you even see that? So the awning, yeah, the arm swings out to here and all the way out and it comes out like two and a half meters or something like that, all the way around, all the way around here, all the way around here and all the way around here to across here. All right, and you're getting that, and you're getting that to across here. So all that is completely covered, shaded. There's about five poles of drop down real quick adjust. Cannot wait to show you that. Cannot wait. We've done one for Phoenix a while ago, um, and the, the coverage is just mind, mind blowing. It is a big bag that hangs down the side. Um, we're gonna make it a uh, quick release so to speak so we'll have um you know just four bolts to undo to remove the awning the racks can stay on there um and the awning um can be removed if it's just if you're just not going to go camping you don't need to have this uh awning hanging off the side all the time so so we're trying to make it modular definitely from what i've seen a one-off you know it's like the one we did for phoenix is even more extreme that it had to have a removable top section on both the rack at the front and the bar at the back um, and it's that top section sticks up higher than the top top pop top and it can put uh, stand up paddle boards across so yeah we're all about solutions here Fanzel's restoration we love the challenge of um, doing something custom um, yeah so We've got, uh, we painted all the wheels, had them, uh, the tie, the white wall tires are still good. We've got um, new stainless mirrors to go on. And we've got uh, new chrome hubcaps to go on as well. Um, so that will be, complete the look basically. That'll complete the look. So we've got the fresh, the fresh green paint with the white we've got beautiful tan not quite tan more of a yeah more neutral um the upholstery a bit of white piping to tie it in with the the white that you see inside touch of green to look at while we're driving um bit of black for contrast it's just just looking really good so i'm excited about um Minty being on the road. So it's going up to uh, Stephen the Tolly um, for a brand new two liter engine, fully rebuilt. Um, yeah, a lot of dollars, a lot of, um, but quality, the quality will be there. So uh, should bring reliability with everything gone through on it. Uh, yeah, stock motor, but built really well, basically. And same with the gearbox. I think Aaron Roberts has done a, a two-liter box for this, which would be a six-rib, I think. Um, so, like, body looks fantastic. Not a show car, you know. A slight bit of ripple through there. You, I could have spent um, another week on it, uh, rubbing it down, like... Uh, doing another layer of um, you know high fill and whatever blocking it down but we just thought main thing rust is sorted um, and the next thing it looks great and it does look great it just doesn't look like a show car that was not the intention go back and have a look at introduction to violet it's now called minty no longer violet um, yeah so do that <laughs> Do yourself a favor and have a look at me poking the rust holes. Andrew's done a great job with it. Oh, boy, we haven't even cut and polished this yet. I've got to paint this yet. So I'm gonna put like a, an industrial paint on that. Um, I haven't even cut and polished it yet. So we've got to bloody really bring a shine to this thing. It, all, it looks pretty good as it is off the gun, but I mean, um, we're gonna step it up with our uh, mid-range cut and polish as we call it so it's 
starting with the 1500 and going to a 3000 and so it's just a two-step um, not a full show cut and polish which where you start with a 800 and hard blocks and all this sort of stuff so not that sort of job but um, you know so many of the parts custom combi rock and roll bed the best the risers for retractable seat belts in the back fantastic all new seat belts <coughs> pardon me you know um, and just you, you just sometimes just have to get new stuff you know, the, these are always perished the lights the front lights have uh, been replaced um, you know uh, the headlights are actually good still we whacked a new badge on because it's just I know it's only a plastic one but it just finishes it off nicely a new screen in behind there of course with a, you know so uh, the old windscreen was still in great condition so we just left that um, just put a new seal around that so uh, we got new front door handles because one of them wasn't matching and had a key broken off in it and all blah 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 so um, you know rust treating done soundproofing done so yeah just a bit of external stuff now and we're good to go so so we're in the back we've got you know even with this cushion out we've got a nice black carpet bit of contrast there but yeah when you fold the bed out you got a nice comfy bed once you put a sheet and whatever on that then yeah happy days so uh andrew's just putting all the clips in to get ready to snap them in place uh yeah so that's a, a sunday wrap up of minty so on i'll when i load this on tonight i'll see what happened in the last video it was probably like not even painted it was probably just rust repairs going on so i can't let that happen anymore i'll be more thorough now and make sure i do the update videos because i forget when you do update videos constantly on facebook and instagram you forget about youtube which i will look after my youtube family uh, i got new you know uh i gotta get the little bungs that sit over that and I've got new washer jets I've got to buy some clear plastic line you know for the washers so yeah anyway enough chit chat that's um that's minty in a nutshell just about there um got to get the cover strips on yeah got a bit to do but we will get it done and um uh, oh the 240 volt was there so the there's a plug there's wiring going through so we'll actually get a 240 volt get an electrician to put in a plug there um and i'll get that light mounted and happy days all right grego signing out have a good sunday um by the time you watch this it might be monday it doesn't matter just just you know as a reference point go back to the early the first video maybe even the second of when we stripped this down and it's like Ooh, you boys have been busy so yes a lot of rust repairs um we've tried to keep the the price reasonable as we always do um but yeah so many hours have gone into it so many hours all right gotta talk later ciao 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 bye 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 bye